Number five, what's the smallest possible value for x where y is equal to sine of two x, which is its maximum? To do this question, I wanted to show you guys the unit circle first, because for the sine and cosine business, they were based on the unit circle in the first place. Anyways, this is the x and y axis, and then this is where the zero degree is, and it's the same as zero radians. This is the 90 degree, right? But then, as you can see from the answer choices here, they are all in terms of radians. So I would like to put down pi over 2, which is the same as 90 degrees. And then right here, this is 180 degree, which is the same as pi. And then here is 3 pi over 2, and so on, so on, so on. And let me draw you guys the unit circle right here. Alright, so right here, this is my circle with radius 1, and let's do some quick review first. For example, let's take a look at this point. This point has a coordinate 1, 0. 1 is the x value, because we know the radius is from here to here is 1, since we are on the unit circle, right? And then the y value is 0, so 1, 0 for this coordinate. And based on this, we can talk about the sine cosine value when the angle is 0. We have to remember that the cosine is the x value, so we can say the 1 is cosine of 0 for this angle, and then the sine is the y value on the unit circle. So we can say that cosine of 0 is 1, and sine of 0 is 0. But this is not what we want, because as we can see, we are interested in the sine function, and then we have sine of 0 is 0. We should know that the maximum value of sine is equal to 1. And that will happen, in fact, right here. Let's take a look at this point. This point has a coordinate 0, 1. 0 for the x value, 1 for the y value. And we can say that cosine, which is the x value, cosine of the pi over 2 right here, it's 0. And then this one represents the y value, which we can say that's the sine of pi over 2, right? Sine of pi over 2 will give us the maximum value, positive 1. And in fact, that's the first time that it will happen, the first positive value that you will get the maximum value for sine. All right, now let's make a connection. The question right here, we are looking for the function y is equal to sine of 2x. And we have to be careful. Here is the input, the 2x, right? I want to make sure that 2x ends up to be pi over 2. So I have to set an equation. 2x is the same as pi over 2. I have to make sure this happens. And then if I solve for x from here, I will finish the question. To do that, I can just multiply both sides by 1 half, right? Because 1 half and then 2 will cancel. And we see that x will be pi over 2 times 1 half, which will be pi over 4. And we are done. x should be pi over 4. And that's answer choice A right here. And let me just show you real quick why the answer is pi over 4. And we can do a quick check. Plugging pi over 4 into this function here, we get y equals to sine of, and we should use a parenthesis, 2 times the x, which we know is pi over 4 after we did the calculation. And then we see that we are talking about y equals to sine of 2 times pi over 4, we get pi over 2. And then sine of pi over 2, just like what we talk about it, it has the value 1, which is the maximum value for the sine function. So pi over 4 is indeed the answer. As usual, that's it. Alright, so this right here, it's a circle with radius 1.